So today we are going to be discussing about seven tips we need to implement. We see that the economy is actually harsh and um, we know as creatives we need to do more than what we are doing and that is why we have chose to bring out these seven key tips which I want everyone to start implementing. Surviving as creative in an in a dwindling economy can be challenging, but with the right approach and mindset, it is possible to navigate through these circumstances. So I'll be giving you all seven key tips in which I want everyone to implement. Number one has to do with diversifying your skills. Diversifying your skills. Instead of relying on a single on the single creative skills, explore different areas and expand in your expertise. So now, um, I'm going to be explaining this now. How can you diversify in your skill? Right? How can you do that? You can do that by having multiple skills. Having multiple skills allows you to have more than one um, skill for yourself. I'll give an example. If you are into graphic design as a creative, you are into graphic design, you need to learn something about social media management. Because as, as a graphic designer, you need to leverage on social media. People need to um, be able to resonate with your work. So learning a skill in social media management helps you upscale right also as a graphic designer you can also learn other skills related to graphic design right and other skill that is related to graphic design is also what we call ui ux ui ux is more like a particular skill that is trending now and People are keen into it. And as a graphic designer, if you are into graphics and you know more of UI UX, you'll be able to um, make, more, um, make more money than just being a graphic designer. So diversifying in your skills actually helps you out to be able to thrive in this economy it shows that one skill is not enough for you to be able to um float across this economy that we're having now today so that is why we encourage everyone to be able to have more than one skills for themselves if you check today employers tend to multi-tax creatives employer wants someone who can do three things at a time right trust me this is not um this is not legal if i'm to use that word it is not something that is to be encouraged but looking at um what it costs to get three persons if you are a a startup business you can't be able to have money to um, employ a graphic designer, also employ a social media manager, also have money to employ, let's say, a video editor for whatever business you have, right? And that is why um, startups, businesses, brand look for individuals who have diversified skills. But take one thing for sure: they need someone who is a specialist in a particular field if they are looking for a graphic designer that is the job role they are going to ask that individual if he or she can be able to multitask in other skills so that is going to help them cut costs right so this is another reason why we need to have multiple sets of skills so if you have one skill today this is the right time for you to start learning another one. Because we have an economy that is going up, down, and most times having more of downtrends. So this is the essence of why 
you need to diversify in your skill. Remember the topic says surviving as creative in a doing economy, meaning an economy that is going downwards, right? And if you check it, I believe everybody on the chat, we don't have externals, I believe everybody on the chat is from Nigeria looking at my chat. And everyone knows what the economy is saying right now. So it shows that you must be able to have multiple sets of skills. That is, that's diversifying your skills. So that is that for key point number one. Please, if you get it to this extent, please tell me to move on, please. Tell me to move on if you help me to this extent, please. So that I can move to point two. Is anybody there? Can I move on? Can anybody hear me? Can I move on? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your feedback. Thank you very much. So, number two has to do with adapt to digital platform. Adapt to digital platform. It says embrace digital platform and utilize them to showcase your work and reach a wider audience. Create an online portfolio. Participate in relevant, in relevant social media platforms and consider selling your creation through e-commerce platform. Now, I'm going to explain this now. Um, for those in um, Skill Up with Gurus group and for those in also in um, Cinematography group, we advise everyone to have an online portfolio. Yes, um, the world is revolving. No employer, no employer wants to go through that stress of asking you to um, come to their office, do this, do that, when seeking for job. If you check an advanced company in these days, they are utilizing online system. And most times, they have their interviews online. They have it um, through Zoom, through Google Meet, through so many things. And most times, they want creatives to already have a portfolio. An online portfolio is, your, is more like your CV. It's not even more like your CV. It's your CV itself. If at this stage, you as a creative that wants to survive and you don't have an online portfolio, then you are not ready. You are not ready. It says you should be able to showcase your what? Your work through online platforms. And we have different online platforms. Please take notes. We have different online platforms. I advise everyone listening to me now, try as much as possible to have an, a LinkedIn profile. A LinkedIn profile, right? A LinkedIn profile helps you to make a LinkedIn profile is also like a profile that holds your CV. Because if you have a LinkedIn profile, there is an avenue where you can put your CV, and your CV has to do with your resume or what is it called? Your um curriculum VT. Employers want to be able to see that. You have been able to do um, works and you are able to show for it. So that is why you need to have an online portfolio. If if you need if you need um, how to go about creating an online portfolio, you can drop it on this chat, and I'll try as much as possible to paste you a, a link. 
which you can be able to watch to create your own online portfolio. So, number three. Shall I move on? Please let me know on the chat. Shall I move on? Shall I move on to point three? Just put point three. Let me know that you're listening to me. Point three. Please, if you can hear me. Okay. Thank you very much, AY. Thank you very much. Number three says. Build a strong online presence. Establishing a strong online presence is crucial for survival in today's economy. Maintain an active presence on social media platforms, engage with audience, and share your works regularly. So, after creating your portfolio, after creating um, your social media platforms, so please, um, there are different there are different um social media platforms that are meant for different purposes the high time you understand each social media you will be able to know how to leverage on them so i'll just be giving few points on each social media so facebook is meant for connecting with family and friends twitter is meant for micro blogging if you have short stories you want to tell on there um, LinkedIn is meant for meeting with family and friends. Instagram is meant for um, posting of pictures and so please, if you have any niche or you have any works on any niche, know the best social media to leverage on, right? And try as much as possible to post your work regularly. And one good um, social media platform I recommend you start using today. Go away from um, social media. I don't want to mention a social media name that you should go away from. Because um, that might help. Okay. Um, social medias that don't um, help promote your works. Go away from there. Social media I recommend you use now as creative is LinkedIn. Please try as much as possible to be active on LinkedIn. And also build your portfolio in your work area. Remember that point one says you diversify your skill. Fine. Diversify your skill means that you should have multiple sets of skills. But at the same time, you should have a specialization in one. The one you will keep posting regularly on it. That should be the one you should build a strong online presence on. If it's graphics work, for every project you do, try as much as possible to post it. Write a comment. I just finished this project. I'm so delighted about this project. Please, you guys, look at this work. Drop your comments. Let me know what you think about it. You understand? Try as much as possible to um put it in people's minds to be able to engage your content right so if you are confused on how to use um linkedin very well i i have a particular video that has been recorded i can put it out for everyone to um view that talks about how to use social media which is linkedin use it to its best of um, abilities so please and please always be regular always give yourself tax this is one thing i use to help myself out as a creative there's no there's no sleeping period for me that does not mean i don't sleep meaning i try as much as possible to always put out content 
in my particular niche. If you people are well conversant with um, what do they call it, conversant with other skit makers, there's no week that will pass by that you're not going to see something from them. Because they need to keep you engaged. And that is why most times they have more gigs coming from different platforms. So if you also want that as creatives, try to build a strong um, online presence on any social media you know you are very good at. Right? People can say they want to use um, Twitter. People can say they want to use um, YouTube. People can... Depending on what your niche is. If you are into vlogging, I recommend you using YouTube. Right? But I recommend LinkedIn because people these days are looking for um, gigs. And one area to look for gigs is on LinkedIn. So I'm going to be stopping there. I'm going to move into point four. Point four talks about collaborate and network. Please type point four so that I move. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Point four says collaborate and network. Collaboration is a key. Collaboration is key in the creative industry, especially during challenging times. Seek opportunities to collaborate with other creative businesses or organizations that aligns with your interests or style. This is very essential. This is very essential. Like they say, Rome is not built in a day. So that is why we need everybody. You need to collaborate with other people. I'm going to quickly give a, an, um, an example. An example has to do with... Um, an example has to do with... Uh, what do they call it? Has to do with a photographer and makeup artist. A photographer and a makeup artist. They are like five and six. Photographer and makeup artists are like five and six. They they mostly deal with each other. They try as much as possible to work with themselves. Working with themselves will help them grow. So most times you see people will be like, okay, um, I want to create a particular um, type of picture. I need a makeup artist. A makeup artist too is going to come because trust me, if both of them actually collaborate and that picture goes viral, it is credit for two of them. Two of them are going to have those credits. And most times, you can also network with um, businesses and organization with your niche. And sometimes it's very difficult because some organization we don't want to bring you in because they might say they have enough staff. Sometimes they will tell you they cannot pay you. So, and you want to collaborate and network with this particular organization. This is one tip you can use. If you really want to network and collaborate, you can send a mail, which um, LinkedIn is very good for that. Um, you can you can look for a particular firm that is in your niche that needs your services. You can DM them. You can DM them and say, "Hello, good afternoon or good morning. Um, I would like to provide my services in terms of um, helping you out with a particular tax. I know your company will be needing." 
for either just a token or I'll be doing it for free. So meaning I'll be volunteering to help you out with your tax. But trust me, the one a company will key into most is the volunteering. The company will, will gladly will gladly bring you in when you say you want to um you want to volunteer for um helping them to reduce their workload. And most times, volunteering can even lead to you becoming a permanent staff of theirs, looking at your um, your work and looking at everything you've done for them. So this is one way you can collaborate and also network with businesses and organizations. And creatives, you can also do that. I've explained that like um, photographers and um, makeup artists. So this is one key way. But... With businesses, most times it's always hard, and that is why you have to be sure and you have to be direct with what you want to render to them. So I give an example in my particular niche, video editing. I have um, I have um, both locally and internationally um, organization that needs our services, and I know for sure if I DM them and say, "Hello, I came across your page." And I think I love your work. And that is why I am willing to render my skills to help you reduce your workload. And I'll be doing this for a space of three months. And um, if you like my, my job, then I'm looking forward to working with you. But for now, I'm willing to do it for free. I know this is going to be hard because you need... Um, funds but this is one way you can also tap into an organization um, system so it depends on you and it depends on the route you want to take please so far we've covered four points any question any question just go ahead to type it on the chat box any question please before I move to point five, any question? If there's no question, tell me, go to point five. I need two persons to tell me, go to point five. Then I know there's no question. I need two persons to tell me, go to point five. That is, if there's no question, two individuals. I just talked about point four. I just talked about point four, collaborate and network. So far, so good. We've covered one to four. I need two persons to tell me, move to point five. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I need another person. So I know there's no question so far. So I know there's no question. So, I just have only joint telling me to go to point five. Is there anyone that has any questions so far? So far, we've covered... So far, we've covered four points. We've covered four points. Number one says, you should what? 
diversify your skills. Number two says adapt to digital platforms. Number three says build a strong online presence. Number four says collaborate and network. Should I go ahead? I need someone to join John. Should I go ahead or should I wait? Okay, moving on. Point five, it says seek alternate, alternative revenue streams. In addition to clients, work explore alternative source of income related to your creative skills. So, as creatives, we should always look for other streams of income. Right? We should always look for other streams of income, but not forgetting our main source. If you are a graphic designer, graphic designer is what I've been using since. If you are a graphic designer, if you are a graphic designer, if you are a graphic designer, you are one of the creatives because I've been using graphic designer since. You try as much as possible to look for alternative sources about looking for alternative sources of income. This is by having multiple sets of skills, like we said in point one, diversify in your skills. So if you have other skills, you'll be able to, when job is not coming as a graphic designer, job will come in other areas. You can be able to key into that. Now, for graphic designer, there are so many streams of income. Now, number one point, as a graphic designer, you can design for firms, their flyers, their banners, and so many things. That's one source. So, another one, you can also go into printing. As a graphic designer, you can go into printing. Printing of um, banners, printing of mugs, printing of tropilos, printing of um, all these birthday um, presents and so much frames. Right? Those are multiple sources of income you can key into. Right? Those are multiple sources of income you can key into. So, do not rely on only one source of income for you to survive. Try as much as possible. To, let's say you are determined to um, work your line in terms of graphic design. Also, look for other streams of income to support your creative career. So, um, we have we have two more to go. Stay adaptable and open to change. Stay adaptable and open to change. Shall I move on? So the sixth, the sixth point has to do with stay adaptable and open to change. So it says economic condition can fluctuate rapidly. So it is important to stay adaptable and open to change. Keep an eye on emerging trends, technology, and market demands.
So now, this is it now. This is actually happening now. And that is why this topic is very essential. The economy has changed ever since we had COVID-19. COVID-19 actually brought a widespread of um, remote job. So remote job is more like a market demand now. Remote job brought about people working from home. And that is what COVID-19 brought about. And for you to be able to work at home, it shows that you already have a skill that is in demand. So apart from the work in demand, the skills is also in demand. So if you check today, people are looking more for remote jobs because remote jobs actually give you opportunity to do other things, right? So you as creatives, you should be open to learn new things in terms of trends. Now, if you look at it now, after COVID-19, now this area we are facing what we call um, AI and IoT. AI means artificial intelligence and IoT means Internet of Things. So now most of those work that are done um, manually and are done automatically in terms of seconds. Now, people are losing their jobs gradually. But you as creatives, are you supposed to be scared? The answer is no. As creatives, you need to stay adaptable, meaning you need to follow trends, meaning you need to upskill yourself, you need to update yourself in what is going on. So as creatives, look for how you can implement technologies and um, advancements in terms of AI and IoT into your crafts. Right? Back then, we used to pay for as graphic designer because I think graphic designer have been I've been talking about it since. I'm going to use that as an example to the end of this um, talk. Graphic designer before people used to pay money for them to cartoon their pictures. Cartooning of pictures is one creative way to design house to make money. People like to have their picture cartoon. But now, AI has brought about that um, close in terms of job. People don't need graphic designer again to um, do what? To turn their pictures into cartoon. And the results to having an AI website. Under few seconds, they are going to have their picture being cartooned. This is reaching out to so many jobs. The last time we had write complaints that leverage on write-ups, right? People that need um, creative writers, their jobs is coming down now because chat GPT is there. But those who know their way around chat GPT, because chat GPT cannot do everything. Chat GPT cannot take over a human brain. A human brain is more... How did chat GPT come about? It come about through human brains. It is people that program it to do what it's doing. It is collection of ideas that brought about chat GPT. So, they cannot be as super as we in terms of our reasoning, in terms of we being creatives. And that is why we need to take advantage of AI. AI is here to stay. If you as a creative, you should start implementing AI into your workflow. Because AI helps. Now, I can remember back then when I used to code as a web developer. Because I told you, you have to be satisfied in terms of your skill. It's, I used to stay up nights to code for hours. For a particular website. But now, using AI. AI can help you implement a website in less than seconds. And you'll get a website that is appealing. A website that is um, standard. So, one way for us to survive in a dwindling economy is by staying adaptable and open to changes. Lastly, I'll be talking about number seven. 
please if you are there tell me give us number seven on the chart give us number seven Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, um, we are going to be discussing number seven. We are going to be calling it a, a close to this um, talk. So, please and please, everyone who has joined this live, please do well to click um, like on the live. Please do well to click like so that people who are not um, on this live it can be shared to them so that they can also benefit from these seven key points we've discussed so far. And also for people that have not subscribed to the channel, also subscribe because I'm going to be using this platform to also disseminate um, more practical tips which we are going to be using as creatives. Um, very soon we are going to be um, showing everyone a, a pathway, a pathway as creative to um, make money, to make money online, right? And the platform we intend to use is Upwork. So we're going to be starting very soon. So I need everyone to um, stay connected to this channel. This is what we're going to be using going on because everyone will be seeing our screen. Now we're going to be showing you live on how to um, make money online using your skills. So I'm going to be moving forward, please. Number seven says invest in continuous learning. As creative, it is crucial to stay updated with the latest tools, techniques, and industry trends. Invest time in continuous learning through online courses, workshop, conference, or industry events. So congratulations to everyone who has stayed through this um, this live. We have been able to discuss seven points, and the number one, the, the seventh one says you should continue to invest in learning. So as creatives, always look for opportunities where people are talking about upscaling in terms of your skills, upscaling in terms of your finance. It shows that you are being intentional. It shows that you want a difference for yourself. So always try to engage in creative works. Always try to upscale yourself in terms of information. You know they say information is power. Because without information, most of all the things that are created, most of all the things that are done today will not come to be. It is true information that is gathered that they created um, AI. They created that you can see through people are advertising right now. I think that costs like um, $3,000 or so. You can see that online. So please always look for opportunities for online courses. Do not, do not um, relate in learning because learning is lifelong. Learning is continuous. Do you get learning is continuous. Education can stop, but learning is continuous. You pass through school, SS1, SS2, SS3, um, high school, that is for those in foreign lands, high school, college, right? University and the rest of it. That stops there. 
But learning is lifelong. Learning is a process which you need to keep. Because what is obtainable last year is not the same. And as creatives, you don't need to be obsolete. You need to advance in terms of your skills. Because um, technology um, improves every day. The trend improves every day. The market demands improves every day. So as creative, for you to be able to survive, you need to stay up to date. Right? And staying up to date, um, let me give you one great tip. I'm going to give you one great tip that you can use. There is a platform that is um, with Google. It's called Google Alert. I'm going to type it on my screen so you see it. Um, let me write it. Um, Google Google Alert. That is number one. So please check out this um, this thing I'm writing out. Google Alert. We have another one. Um, Google Trend. So these two updates you on what is happening, right? This alert gives you information. Gives you information in a particular niche you registered under, right? It gives you alerts on that. And Google Trends gives you worldwide information about what is happening. So you are going to stay updated in terms of your skill. You are going to stay updated in terms of everything that is happening around the world. So as creatives, you need to update yourself. You need to be able to leverage on the internet. Right? So please take notes. Google Alerts, I've typed it on my screen. Number two, Google Trends. You need those two key tools as creatives. So on my end notes, on my, my end note says, remember, perseverance and resilience are essential qualities for surviving as creative in a dwindling economy. Stay focused on your goals, be proactive, and maintain a positive mindset even during challenging times. Even during challenging times. So, I thank everyone who has um, joined this live. Please do well to click like button so that people who did not join will be able to gain value from this video right 